Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, go to my website, angelsouls444.com. Don't just get used to hearing me say that and not actually do it. I mean, you don't have to get a reading with me, but with me, you're going to get deep spiritual practice, okay? And things for you to really consider. Hopefully that will break open a pattern some level of awareness so that you can really get kick-started on your spiritual path or get going on in the next part of it, okay? So just keep that in mind. And also, I have a live coming up. I believe it's on the 28th, if I remember correctly. I've been scheduling so many of them. I think it's on the 28th. It's going to be about soul codes. Get in the description box and get your ticket for that, okay? And of course, pay attention to all the lives I'm going to be having right in the beginning of December to kind of free up the last couple of weeks because I know people are going to be, you know, probably traveling or just busy. You know what I mean? All right. Let's get our card. All right. Oh, that was loud. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Breathe. Archangel Raphael. So this is already talking about meditation, getting into the heart space, healing the heart space. Yeah. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. That is always the big part of this card. Release old patterns. If you want things to change, but you're not, you're, you think you're perfect, right? Or you think you're the victim of everything. One of the things I, I think I've shared this before, but one of the things that really ticked me off one time was someone, you know, after I had just <laughs> poured my heart out said, where do you victimize yourself? And I swear to God, I I just, I think all the color went out of my face because I'd never really been heard before. You know what I'm saying? Like every time I would start talking about something, I would get shut down. So this is the first time I kind of like let it all out. And then that was the response. And I still say it was inappropriate. <laughs> it was highly inappropriate, not for this person to be saying that, not being very empathetic for sure. But... Even though that person was being unempathetic and not very kind in saying that and judgmental, really, and kind of self-centered, it was a whole thing. Um, after a while, I, I realized, no, I, I guess I had thought that the things that had happened had made me powerless and I'm not powerless. And yet I think it's not fair to say to people who've been through traumas to say, okay, you have the power to change it. That's true. But to not put any sort of um, get over it energy on them. To be a little more compassionate about what they've been through. And knowing that somebody else who didn't have those things happen to them, they have less obstacles. Someone who has had a traumatic past has to come through all of that just to be on level ground with everybody else. So when we say victim, okay, that is not speaking to people or who have been through something or um, diminishing you. You do have power, but a lot of your energy is being spent on recovery while others are just getting to run ahead. So don't be hard on yourself is what I'm getting at here, okay? But uh, this brief card is definitely talking about a time to stop, to heal, to reset. Okay, so we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.